Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to a, another episode, folks. We're once again back in World of Warcraft on the Death Knight. And we are going to continue with the questing. Um, I'm hoping to get a couple of levels here. See how quickly I can get the quest done. And obviously that will translate into XP. So before we do get into this, I just wanted to thank everybody for their continued support with this series. I really do appreciate it. And I also wanted to thank you for clicking on this video. So we're going to kind of continue from where we last left off we're basically going to follow the mini map and uh, where questy tells us to go try and get things done as quick as possible as you can see it is a bit crowded at the moment there are a lot of death knights kind of fighting for the same thing which kind of makes sense i guess so i'm going to try and grab this one this one's pretty much a straightforward quest in regards to what we have to do so might as well try and grab all these bits and pieces. It does seem like we have quite a few of them to grab, so I'm going to be using the mount for this to try and move around as quick as possible. 30, I think, is a, it's a big number of scraps that we need to get. So, <laughs> hopefully, we have some that we can actually pick up. I'm going to try and not grab stuff that people um, are kind of going for. Okay, I was just waiting here for a brief second just because I didn't want to take anything that uh, another player would have wanted. So, for example, I wanted to see what they were doing. I noticed that they were mounting up, so I thought, you know, that they didn't need it. It's just one of those things that's really annoying when you clear out the NPCs, the trash in an area to get to an item that you need to collect for a quest. And then someone else comes along and picks it up. There's plenty of people that do stuff like that. I don't want to be one of those people. So, I mean, there's plenty around. I can definitely pick them up. I'm doing this as quick as possible, trying to avoid any form of conflict, if at all possible. Uh, it just prolongs the amount of time I spend trying to collect these things. And then we can go back to killing some stuff and get some XP that way as well. But, uh, yeah, we are at 9 out of 30. So we're doing all right. I mean, I can only imagine how annoying the mounting or, yeah, the, the, the constant mounting sound that the horse makes every time we mount them up. So, unfortunately, that's what we're going to have to do to try and get this done as quick as possible. Okay, that for a second right there looked like there was a part of the quest, but it's not. It's just like a piece of bone out of that skeleton sticking out. Okay... We can do the vultures later. I think we'll need to do the vultures later. At the moment, we're not interested in them. We just want the bit. I'm sure there's a quest where we have to kill vultures. It's going to be nice because there's quite a few vultures around in this area. So I'm going to go for big pulls, uh, four, five, and above. It's really interesting how powerful the Death Knight actually is or feels from my perspective at this moment in time. Maybe things will change at a later date, but currently speaking, the Death Knight is quite powerful. Alrighty, let's grab this as well. And we'll pick this up. At the moment, I'm really struggling to find the pieces. They seem to be either very scattered about or not very many just because of how people have been collecting them. So hopefully things pick up now. I didn't want to really aggro this dude right here, but it is what it is. So I might as well just deal with him. I still think I'm doing crazy damage, to be honest, <laughs> especially on, uh, on the death. Line. At least compared to my previous experience with other characters that I've played so far. I just think there's a lot of crazy damage do uh, happening. It's just, yeah. I'm definitely taking down the NPCs a heck of a lot quicker than I would have with... or than I did with the Paladin. Maybe I've also learned how to play a bit since then, so that might also play into why I'm so quick with taking down NPCs. 
But honestly, I feel like when I first played with the Paladin, it was not either this was my experience or my noobishness, but it was very slow. Obviously, now I know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going straight for it as much as I can. All right, let's try. I was going to try and get that one, but I don't know. Can I kind of get it from the top here? Okay, I know what this is. We don't really want to be fighting anything. There is one that is launched halfway down that slope, but I feel like that's not one that we can get. Or one that we can get very easily. So, we're just going to have to kind of look for stuff. There we go. Thank God things are spawning back in. How many do we need? I lost count. 16. Halfway there. Right, I've spotted the next two pieces. Alright. Let's go and grab that one as well. Okay, okay. And... Let's see. No, I'm not really seeing much. Ah, there's one right there. I can see it kind of lodged in the slope. Pick this one up. And that brings us to 19 of 30. So, we are past the halfway point. There's another one right here. So, get that. That's 20 of 30. So, basically two-thirds of the way there. Okay, not many more to go. So this one is a bit of a... I mean, it's not a bad quest. I, I think it's an easy quest. You just have to go and grab things, but it does prolong it. I mean, there's quite a few things that we need to pick up in terms of quantity. So that in itself does make it a bit of a long one. And uh, of course, when other players are doing the same thing as you, that also adds to... Um, <laughs> the length of the quest. We're going to have to fight this guy for that piece. I, I was initially not going to try and fight or try not to fight um, any bad guys, but unfortunately, sadly, we have to. There doesn't seem to be that many of them. <laughs> okay, there's one right in front, too. I can see. That's good. Three already. Four, actually. So, yeah, there's quite a few things that we can pick up now. quickly grab that one in front because it's in front is um is this right okay so that's fine there's one right here three more to go just quickly starting to set up a secondary set we're going to be using a DPS set as we level up and then going for the tanking set. I'm going to make this Death Knight a tank. So what I tend to do is I tend to have two sets of armor on me at all times. If I can get in as a DPS in dungeons, that's fine. If not, I'll just go in as a tank. It's one of those things I've always done. And um, so that means... Basically, I'm going to be continuously keeping an eye out on armor sets and specifically trying to remember um, whenever we get an armor set and sizing it up to see if we can use it either as a tank or a DPS. I, could, I mean, the Death Knight doesn't really have that many options. We're going to try and do this pig quest right here again. Or that, the pig, the worm quest. Just because um, we kind of gave up on it on the last episode. There was uh, too many people doing the same quest and it just made it longer trying to find a warm as you can see right there somebody's already killed three of them in one go we got two right here three problem is these guys don't really follow us so we're gonna have to take them out in the ground kind of like one at a time if we're lucky to bump into three close to each other then that is really good because we can just do it really quickly as you can see we've barely taken any damage and so that is quite nice take this guy down 
It was two up here. Okay, there's another one down here. Let's go and get this one down here because he's closer to us. And of course, we're going to upset the pig as well, because why not? <laughs> the hell boar. Okay. Not ready yet. Okay, so I know there were two at least up here, so try and find them if we can. Ah, they, okay, they might have moved down here. That makes, I mean, whatever. Didn't expect them to move that much. And this time around, we might fight two of them, so that is actually quite good. Just going to quickly drop death and decay because we want to aggro both of them and do damage to them so that we can't have other players tag them. Ooh, another one right here, so that's good. 11 or 15. Look at this. It's looking really beautiful, this. Okay. So just three more of these worms and we are in a good place. We got this right there. I was looking at it's bind when equipped um i'm trying to decide if i'm going to keep it or sell it um i do need gold and i think i'm going to try and sell it so that's why i put it in the same bag where i would normally keep stuff that um i'm going to equip as say the tank roll uh currently speaking though we don't have enough to actually make a full set so there's plenty of space there <laughs> Radio. Let's get another one. Okay. One more one to go for. So I'm just chatting with a guildmate at the moment, uh, just kind of seeing what he's up to, and he's uh, <laughs> definitely a bit confused as to who I was. He didn't know that this was my Death Knight character. All right, sorry about that, folks. Um, I did have to have a little chatting conversation there with um, Quares, but uh, yeah, we were done. We are going to continue with this particular quest right there, and this... Um, little pet that we have is a bit annoying because I keep clicking on it <laughs> and uh, it has this little emote thing that we can interact with him and uh, yeah I might end up putting pebble away basically but yeah it's a uh, it's definitely a nice game a lot of um, a social aspect to it so I do like that that exists in the game it does focus on that so it's definitely a plus that um, I suppose makes the game a lot more fun. And you do meet some really nice people sometimes in the game. Sometimes you meet some really um, questionable characters <laughs> in the game. But I have gotten on with Quares quite well. Um, we've leveled up. Well, yeah, we've leveled up characters together. And he's got a good sense of humor. So I do like him for that. Trying to see if he wants to do any type of dungeon. Maybe we can get one of those squeezed in. 
I do realize that I am leveling up quite fast for this area, but uh, to be fairly honest, I do intend to complete the entire zone as far as quests goes. And uh, the reason for that is simply because um, there is good reputation to be gained from here with the reputation, of course. We can also buy the key once we are honored with honor old, honor hold. That is really a difficult name to say. I struggle to say it all the time. Honor, honor, honor hold. Honestly, it's just... Uh, is that silent H that does yeah just uh, anyways yeah so we want that reputation with honor old um, for the key and uh, of course the key will allow us to do the heroic dungeons I'm not sure how many of them I'll do once I level up I think I'm gonna focus on kind of leveling up my professions getting things ready for northern and stuff like that okay we have a worm kind of just wandering a we don't want to be fighting the worm. I think we're done with the worms for the time being. So, with that said, let's go and hand these quests in. And uh, I believe this will take us to the buzzards, which is going to be fun. I think we can pull quite a few of them. I believe that also gives us a cooking recipe, which I'm going to hold on to. And uh, when I level up cooking and stuff like that, we will, of course, do it then. Alright, there you go. Um, I'll grab the plate part. So, in this one, we're going to need to do some Void Walker stuff. And uh, let's see what the next one will hold. Of course, by that, I'm referring to how many players are trying to complete the same quest as me. Um, that always does add to the challenge of questing uh, if there's multiple players trying to do the same thing farming the same creature it does mean that there's less for us to do and normally they tend to have decent decent numbers that we need to to kill or decent numbers for items that we need to obtain so it can be a bit of a challenge see right there i thought for a second that we had two quests complete for this area Hold on a second, let's have a look. Alright, well. Let's go and get the eggs. Definitely don't want to get stomped on that dude. Uh, on by that dude. <laughs> I do want to pick a fight with a Reaver, if I'm honest. I want to see if I can hold my own. But that's going to be a lot later on. I don't know if we'll get the time to do it. There's really not that much time left. I think I'm going to put this here and get rid of that. That is an item quest that we don't really need. And uh, this one was another one that I struggled with with the paladin. Now I realize that uh, it'll be a bit of a, a bit of <laughs> a bit of time before we catch up with the paladin storyline leveling quest uh, series. I do want to completely do it, even if it's going to probably be after the. Wrath of the Lich King, but I do want to complete that one because that was the first one that I started out with. Now the problem with that is, and uh, recording them and editing them is just lack of time really, but the episodes are there. I have two terabytes of information and video footage that I want to edit and go through and stuff like that. So it's going to take some time. I'm probably going to focus some episodes on the death knight i'm thinking that i'll probably either take the death knight or the paladin first into northern they're both very useful um the paladin might be the first one probably on the principle of being a healer with the paladin and so that is actually quite useful there will be plenty of tanks with the um release of the death knight so, in all honesty, um, I feel like healers will be a rare thing that people will be looking for, especially for the Northern Dungeons. Okay. So, normally before, there was a bit of an issue with the amount of tanks. There weren't really a lot of tanks, not many healers. But now... 
with Wrath of the Lich King and a lot of people making their own Death Knight, I'm thinking that the tank market, so to speak, if you want to call it that, will probably be good enough. So we should be able to find tanks quite quickly, I'm hoping, for um, Northern and Dungeons and stuff like that. So I would guess that healers would be sought after. Oh, I hear it when we get two of them. We do get some stuns, dazes, and stuff like that. And the issue is I set that thing on the edge of this area where we can put it. But we do need to kind of get them basically to be hit by the beam. Which does mean we have to kite them and take a bit of damage until we get them there. But once we get them there, we should be fine. As you can see right there, I'm already starting to heal. So that is pretty darn sweet. I am really liking it. Basically, I have to kill the orcs and kill their ghost. <laughs> Fell spirit. But luckily, I am a plate wearer, so I do have good armor, which does prevent or reduce the amount of damage I actually take from physical hits. And we got a nice little health potion there. That might be helpful for us at some point in the future. I am so going to end up having to put this pet away. He's kind of annoying. <laughs> right, can I get both of these guys? Do I want to do both of them? Yeah, okay. We, we've pulled both of them. Yep. Oh, yeah. Knocked down. There we go. So we have them within range of that contraption. Otherwise, there's no point in picking a fight with these guys. Shattered Hand Berserker. And then they basically become fell spirits. <laughs> oh, 1,000. That was a good hit. 997. I do like it when we get those big crits. That's actually quite cool. Well. We need, um, we need two more of them. <laughs> Yeah, we need two more of them. They're quite far away, if I'm honest. Okay, we can... Okay, there's one right there. That's fine. We can pull you... Okay, well, never mind. So much for pulling you. We'll just have to kind of walk with you there as you hit us from the back. There we go. Okay. I do hope that one counted. <laughs> yeah, it did. That's fine. That's fine. That counted. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to see if it... Because it normally pops up a message on the screen, but... It would have been a bit annoying if it didn't count. Right. Pebble. What do you want? No? Okay. We don't have anything that you want in our inventory. Okay, I can't put this down here. So, I guess, if I remember correctly, we need to be kind of close. So, maybe... Nope. Are you happy here? There we go. Okay, so you got a couple of hits on me. There you go. You can have those. They're on the house, yeah? <laughs> Okay, okay. That is it. That is us sorted for this area, or should be, at least. So with that said, yep, okay, just double checking. We've got the voids and okay. And the eggs. The ravager eggs. So that's kinda of down this way. We'll quickly go and grab some eggs. 
hopefully i mean again this was another area i struggled with the paladin if i'm honest with the ravager eggs it was pff, yeah died a couple of times there <laughs> you'll see it when the episode comes out and uh, it looks like these voids don't stay up for too long so we might have to do a bit of running around to get what we want um we do need to get some items off of them so that means it's not going to be a guaranteed drop so that adds to the fun of it as you can see right there and we go another death knight that is an unholy death knight is it yep yeah. i think that's what that spell is for quickly grab this dude that's still recharging We'll do this. There's another void walker right there. Alright. We're going to get lucky. Nope, still not going to get lucky with what we need. Finally, so we need 10 items. See, I want to do what this guy's doing where he's pulling multiples, but he's already tagged them, so I guess might as well get whatever's left over. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what we're going to have to do. Hopefully we get a chance to do these big pulls, because it would make life that much easier. Now, I could come back here at a later time, but I want to just kind of get this quest done. I'm here now, the way I look at it. Where is that? That's kind of off the edge there, isn't it? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I want to kind of get it done because I'm here already, so try and pull two of these dudes. At least this way we have a higher chance of getting that item that we need off of them. They don't last very long. <laughs> Surprised how quickly they go down. Okay, so I was going to go for that uh, black voidy thing, but um, so like the circle is what I'm referring to. That's that, Well, yeah, the black voidy thing was basically the circle that seems to spawn them, if that makes sense. Uh, that's what I was referring to. We got three of ten. Still have loads to do. Okay. Let's quickly see if there's anything that's spawned. That we can grab. Nope. Okay, there's nothing here. We'll go back down again. Yeah, there's really nothing for us to find. Okay. Okay, she's going to need some help here. I, I don't want to steal anybody's NPCs. Fine, I'll just grab the one. I'll help her club Ethan off. And I'll grab the one that is for me, basically, that has not been tagged. Ooh, ooh. Darn Death Knight. <laughs> Well, I was going to grab that trio over there. I, I think there was this. Yes, we got another one that's four of ten. I'm, I'm going to try and pull this guy right there. There's two of them, so I don't want to steal any of their NPCs. I guess uh, this time around, I'm just basically going to stick on the outskirts and Hopefully, I get a chance to do some of those pulls. That's five halfway there. Cool.
Okay, there's nothing for us here. <sighs> I mean, I'm halfway there, so might as well just persist with this and see how quickly we can get it done. I mean, I'm going to push to try and get it quickly without actually upsetting other players. Okay, there's nothing here. I could go and do the eggs. Okay. It's too far away. Oh, hold on a bit. Hold on, let me just quickly check this out. I think. I need to target something first. There we go. Oh, they spawned right on top of me. <laughs> Let me just quickly take this guy out. Oh, he gets big. He's gotten big, hasn't he? He's a big fella. Right, okay. Quickly grab this. And grab you as well. Um, they do spawn mighty quick. We do have, I think, the shaman looking at us. Okay, so shaman's picked one up. I'll pick the other one up. We have a death knight helping us here. Okay, um... So, turns out we're from the same guild. I might as well kind of ask for a group together. I just noticed now that we're from the same guild. I was not focused on the void. <laughs> void walkers. I didn't actually notice that we're from the same guild. Oh, hello. Come on then. <laughs> I've just noticed, so I'll... I was wondering why the shaman was putting there. I suppose as a shaman, maybe he, he she can only pull one at a time. Whereas I suppose I'm fortunate where I can do multiples. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> I was that focused. <sighs> okay. I mean, yeah. Could have said something. I was really, I was really zoned in. I was really concentrating there on just doing this quest, trying to get these voids. Um, that nothing else around me was really sinking in. Can't believe that actually happened. But hey, yeah, this is this is how drawn in I got into what I was doing. Oh, there we go. There's another one, two. That's fine. We can deal with two of them. Well, it took me a long time, didn't it? <laughs> it took me a long time to notice that. Oh, they spawned in straight away. That's kind of nuts. Again. Well, let's get their attention. Trying here to take them down as quick as possible before others spawn in, but they spawn in really quickly. Right now. I could do with a death and decay to be honest. There we go. Try and take these guys down as quick as possible. We still have to loot whatever we killed. And there's plenty of bodies to loot right now. See, I can see why the shaman was struggling. Maybe the shaman's a healer because I'm doing quite good damage here with all of these things spawning in and the shaman's barely doing any damage. So maybe the shaman's not a DPS shaman, but a healer shaman, and these things just keep spawning in. So the very first, I don't know, two-thirds of the quest, I was struggling just because of how few I could find. Now I just can't get free. <laughs> There's that many of them. And I did drop the death and decay in the wrong area, so try and kite them into it. Might as well try and make use of that death and decay. Jesus. <laughs> okay, well. Loot these. We're not going to fight them. Nope. 
We've aggroed them. Right, I'm just gonna kite them away. And slowly move out of the area. I mean, I could probably go on for a very long time with these guys. I know my health is looking low, but I still have a couple of heals up my sleeve, should I need to. And, uh, yeah, I could go on forever, really. But that's besides the point. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. And I'm just shifting away. That's it. We have done this quest. Uh, we have the Ravager eggs to pick up, and we also might need to do some vultures here uh, at some point. I don't know how many more quests we have to do before we get to the vultures, but I am looking forward to it, and that is just simply because um, um, there's a lot of stuff to kill, and it's fun, and I'm looking forward to making big pulls. With that being said and done, that is pretty much it for this video, folks. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all for choosing to spend your time with me i really do appreciate it uh join me in the next episode and uh, we're gonna keep on leveling up until we get to level 70 and uh with each passing day we are getting closer to the release of the wrath of the lich king i will continue to do my best here on the channel to release regular world of warcraft content and uh, of course sometimes yeah you know, we will have a couple of issues uh, where there might be days with no content. It all depends on what is happening um, in terms of or with regards to life outside the game. But the aim of the game is to have regular World of Warcraft content here on the channel. With that said, I'll see you folks in the next one. Until then, stay safe.